Okay, here is the expanded Grand Emporium next to the expanded Town Hall. Looks great. Eventually, okay, so we're on our way to the gym. It's Sunday morning. Got a little bit of a sleep in this morning, although what the sleep in means there's a little baby who keeps on trying to wake me up by kicking me randomly. <laughs> nah, never a good sleep in. Um, so we're having a bit of a late start, but we're trying to get to the gym for what, Tristan? Soccer. Soccer, so hopefully we'll be in time. Last time we weren't in time. And when Mason turns six, he'll be old enough to participate in lifetime soccer as well, right? Uh, Yay! I, I know. My next project now is to take this grand emporium that I got from Brick Fed Toronto and expand it. So I already have this one, but now I'm going to make another couple floors just to add more height. All done. Bag number two. So this is going to be one of the floors to make it taller, the Grand Emporium. Now I'm just gonna have to do bag number three. I don't have to open up bag number one because that's the first floor. So all these will be extra pieces that I can use for something else. All right, I finished the second level. So see how this looks. Together. And now let's put this on the other Part, see how big it can there be. There we go, just finished. And so this is the expanded Grand Emporium. Looks good. Okay, here is the expanded Grand Emporium next to the expanded Town Hall. Looks great. Eventually I'll do a video of this for the Brick Adjuster channel, just showing the expanded versions, but looks good. The interior is not done. Probably gonna leave the interior how it is just to save on the pieces because all we, all we really see are the outside. I have some extra pieces now that I'm just gonna sort through, see what there is here. I just finished sorting bag one and there's a lot of useful pieces here. A lot of these pieces, I'm not sure what they're called, but those are cool. A lot of headlights and a lot of tiles that I don't really have to go to Bricklink for a while just because I have all these pieces. Dark blue, dark bluish gray. Nice. Just coming home from the gym now. We're all done. Two hours here, and you played soccer, and you lost that. Oh, but you said you scored. Yeah, <laughs> I, I scored on board. When it scored. Okay. I cool. kicked it, and then it bounced and, and made ah! it. Okay, very good. And these guys were there too. We're back at the school today. Again, we're going to do two back-to-back -back laps twice. Already? Yeah. Yes. Good job. Sprint hard all the way through. Good. 632. Good job. Sprint through. It's going to be faster than yesterday. 606. Awesome. Very good. 8.03. Nice. 7.38. 8.00. Nice. 8.62. 8.28. 7 7.7 8.03 8.28 8.28 7.56 7.84 Awesome Tristan is doing a Lego build this time and we are doing another time lapse and the set is the Indominus Rex Breakout. Back. A big one. 1,156 pieces, but he can do it. And we have 12 numbered bags. Dun, dun, dun. How are we doing so far? Cool looking base. And the dinosaur is eating the ball. Looking good, looking good. Wow. Wow. Look, it's jumping. 
so big. <laughs> Mason, go away. Push the bottle. Push Huge. The bottle. Looks cool so far. It reminds me of the Hulk Smash, Hulk Lab Smash set. Look. Boop. This usually works. Oh, don't break it. No, it can break. I know, but it's videoing. It, you're doing the time lapse. And it looks like Tristan is all done his build. Very, very cool. In here at Aaron Mills Town Center because I forgot that there was um, Bath and Body sale, and today's the last day for those three wick candles that I have some friends who love. So I'm usually trying to stock up on them for like birthday gifts and stuff like that. So I just have Hayden with me, who is another who's just because it's so close to Aaron Mills. And I let him lose it and bring him in his shoulder and I don't know. Hmm. Are you gonna put this? Good. 